Okay, good morning all. I am hoping that this will work in getting us um, getting us set to do these excerpts. So I'm going to do, um, I'm, my plan here is to show you how to excerpt, uh, or excuse me, export excerpts into an Excel file, so a lot of ease. Um, and that makes it a little bit easier to compare these excerpts as we're trying to get the inner rate of reliability. So, uh, so here we go. Uh, we're in deduce. And uh, if you choose excerpts from across the tabs at the top of the bar, uh, then you can go to media down here in the filters, and you can choose the piece of media that you want. Now, I have found it most useful to select one piece of media at a time and create a different report from each piece of media. Uh, that's not always uh, that may not always be the way you want to do it, but that's the way we're going to do it right here. So suppose I want my copy of the Colorado 18 uh, coding. So there's Colorado 18 MJE, that's me, uh, and I'm going to click Select All down here. Now you can see that there's multiple pages, it doesn't matter, it will collect all of them. You don't have to go to the next page. Uh, and then what you're going to do is this little guy up here, excerpt, uh, Export Excerpts, uh, is where you want to go. I tend to unselect everything and then these are the things I want. I want memos, I want the uh, the code applications. Those are the only things that I want. Uh, notice that it's going to say I'm going to put it in the excerpt order of the media. That's very helpful because it means it's just going to go in the order of the interview. Uh, I want the full excerpt text so that's going to give me the actual words that are being used and it's going to go into Excel. Now I could choose a different format. I've been using Excel. If you guys want to play around with others you're welcome to. So when I click export it's going to ask me where I want to put that. Um, it's going to say download ready, so here we go. I'm going to go into my T-Lead file, uh, and for, for right now I'm not going to choose anything. I'm just going to put um, Colorado 18 NJE, just so that it matches what's in deduce. You can choose whatever you want there, obviously, it's your computer. Um, and then it's going to take some seconds to do that, and then download complete, so you can hit OK. Now what I tend to do is I go into Excel, so I'm going to go back into that guy there, so here's Colorado 18 MJE. I'm going to open it up. This is kind of the annoying part, so I apologize, it does take a little bit of work here. Notice how many columns we've got going on here. We've got excerpt copy and then the codes applied. Um, and then right here, starting with, with column C on this one, we've got all this true-false stuff. And basically it's saying what got applied and what didn't. I don't really need all of that. So I'm going to highlight by clicking on the C here. Oh, I guess I should enable editing. I'm going to click on the C here, and I'm going to hit Control shift and the right arrow, and it's going to take all of those columns. I don't know why it selects all those columns, but it does, and I'm happy about that. And I'm just going to delete them. I don't need them. Okay. And so what that's going to do is it's going to um, it's going to let me take these first four columns, first three columns rather, um, and expand them out. And then I'm also going to do a wrap text, and that's going to get everything nice and easy to see. And so that's going to expand those columns out. This third column is going to be memos if there are any. Um, so you can see there's a couple of memos that went by there, like this one here. Um, and so you can see all of those. Um, you can also, when you did the export and deduce, you can also um, you can also use excerpt range, and that will give you a little bit of information. Um, so just just make sure that you can you can do that. It'll give you a little bit more information on that Excel page. I found that I don't really need it, but if you need it, have at it. You can also insert a couple of columns over here to the left to be able to add things like um, number of codes and um, like or rather number of matches and number of codes applied. And that way you can begin to get some totals uh, for that inner rater reliability. Anyway, that's basically it. Uh, if you want to uh, adjust that, you're welcome to. This is just the way I've been doing it. So.